Back in July 2017, I reviewed the brand new Series 4 Unicorn. It was a great day, it was a press day, and I was mingling around with lots of people. Today, sadly, there is no press day, but I've been invited here to have a look at the brand new Series 5 Unicorn. It's a complete refresh, it's a brand new model, and there's a few tweaks and a few changes which have taken place in the construction and the appearance of the caravan. I've got two models with me. I've got the Cabrera, which is an end bed mid washroom four berth caravan on a single axle. And I've got the Cartagena, which is an end washroom transverse bed four berth caravan on a twin axle. Two very different models, but both being four berth. So let's have a look around both caravans and I'll show you some of the highlights and some of the changes which have taken place. And we'll start with the Cabrera. So let's start with the most visible update on this Series 5 Unicorn, that being the new look front end of the caravan. The central window is now 50% bigger than its predecessor, it's wider, taller, and as you can see, sits lower too. And it's for this reason that Bailey have named this as the Infinity Window. You'll see more what I mean when we pop inside. The front side windows are slimmer to accommodate the new look front end, and the front bumper was also a lot lower too. But the grab handles are still at a sensible height, and as you can see, they are now flush in the panel. From the side, you can see that the front profile of the caravan is slightly more aerodynamic than the Series 4 and with the top caps, the front of the caravan looks really smart. Now moving around to the side, you'll see something missing. That's right, the electric hookup plug is now moved to the offside where it sits with all the other services. In fact, if we quickly look at the opposite side of the caravan, you'll see a service light has been installed to illuminate the side of the caravan if services need attention during the night. New updated graphics make the side of the caravan really stand out, but I feel the washroom window on this Cabrera looks a little bit out of place compared to the rest of the windows. Towards the rear of the caravan you can see lockers that give access to the underside of the bed. Two lockers either side allow full access across the width of the caravan, so storage of long items such as wind brakes can be stored here. Of course, don't load anything heavy whilst in transit. Finally, a quick look at the rear, and it's an updated rear light cluster, rear panel, and new vertical rear mouldings. With integral grab handles, this makes the rear of the caravan quite attractive. It's a shame there's no black offset colour here, nor is there a high level brake light either. Before we head inside, let me give you some technical specs of this Series 5 Cabrera. Its ship length is 7.34 meters, width is 2.264 meters, and height is 2.669 meters. Now it's gained a little bit of weight since this Series 4, with an MRO of 1,439 kilos and an MTPLM of 1,600 kilos, but that does give an improved payload of 161 kilos. Right now, I have no knowledge on pricing, but if you are interested, contact your local Bailey dealership for more details. So inside, let's start with the front infinity window. Off the top of the chest, you have an uninterrupted view outside, and to the top edge, it allows a vertical view straight up from the front seats. The front windows are now encapsulated by a single piece around, which also now contains the speakers. The front seating, by the way, is now fully sprung, and I can assure you they're incredibly comfortable to sit on. Of course, these seats also can be used as beds, and as single beds, they measure up as five foot nine by two foot one, or with the slats pulled out and the cushions rearranged, it measures up as 6 foot 4 by 4 foot 3 as a double bed. On this model, we have the optional temple furnishings, which I think make the caravan feel quite contemporary. And with the light oak furniture and cashmere finishes, it feels bright and well lit. Now, moving into the kitchen, we have a new Nebula Silver worktops, which lighten up the kitchen area. And to complement this new look, we have new splashbacks too. Next to the round sink, the cooker is a Thetford K series with separate grill and oven and above the cooker is a new Dometic microwave which is NCC approved and does not need a turntable. So opposite the kitchen is the refrigerator with built-in freezer with lots of storage above and a welcome addition next to this is a TV bracket pre-installed so no need for dealers to add extra brackets for you to hang your television. So this caravan is a mid washroom end bedroom so let's move back through the caravan and look into the washroom. A nice but yet minor update is the washroom door now locks in a closed or open position, meaning you can close off the toilet during the day. As we open the door to enter the washroom, to the left is the wash basin and the toilet to the right, and I'm glad to see that the wash basin has been changed to a Belfast style sink, and a new window above the toilet brightens up this half of the washroom, although I felt a frosted window here would be a welcome addition. Now opposite is the improved shower cubicle with the moulding for shower bottles, shampoos and washing paraphernalia. The fully lined cubicle is bright and very welcoming. Now moving back is the bedroom and you're going to instantly see the new curved wardrobes. This is to accommodate a bigger bed. The wardrobes have been curved inwards yet are still able to hold just as much clothing when hung up. At the bottom of the wardrobe next to the bed you'll notice a cutout which is perfect to stash a book or some reading glasses. 
And if you want to take advantage of the USB sockets and the lights, it's a good cubby hole for the phone or tablet to be recharged. I mentioned the bed is bigger and its dimensions are 6 foot 3 by 4 foot 9. If we quickly look around the rest of the bedroom, there's a full length mirror from head to toe on the right with a 230 volt outlet. And on the left is second TV antenna point with 12 volt and another 230 volt outlet right next to another TV bracket. Now before we leave the Cabrera, let me share with you the other layouts in the Unicorn 5 range. The Seville with an end washer makes a welcome return as the only two berth caravan in the lineup. Whilst the Madrid is a four berth caravan ideal for a young family with a side dinette and bunk bed. The Cadiz, Vigo and Cabrera make up the single axle caravans and the Cartagena and the Pamploma complete the range as twin axle variants. Right, and there we go, that's the Cabrera. Nice caravan, isn't it? Really interesting things that uh, Bailey have done to update this caravan. But that's not the whole story. Let's go and have a look now at the Cartagena. As I mentioned before, it's a four berth caravan, twin axle, end washroom, transverse bed. It's a very popular layout, so let's go and have a closer look. So let's pop some technical specifications of the Cartagena on the screen while I go through some of the safety and security features of the Series 5. Now, as you would expect from a caravan of this stature, it does come complete with Alco ATC, Alco Wheel Secure, and for security, the caravan now comes with a Thatchen F7 approved tracker monitor, which will proactively contact you in the event of unauthorized movement, or if the internal intruder alarm is activated. In addition, the Unicorn 5 now also has a high security door lock for added peace of mind. Now some other noteworthy additions is not only is the Series 5 pre-wired ready for a motor mover, but now the caravan is also pre-wired for Wi-Fi fitment, meaning an external antenna and MiFi can be installed into the caravan by a supplying dealer. To complement this, Prima Leisure now stock the Avtex Wi-Fi router, which can be installed at an extra cost. So let's pop inside. The immediate thing you'll notice inside one of the twin axles is the length of the front seating. To give you an idea, the front beds can be made up as 6 foot 5 by 2 foot 1 or 6 foot 4 by 4 foot 11 as the double. This is ideal if you have a rather long teenager in the family. The seating does have that attractive curved corner sections, perfect for sitting back in and relaxing. Now this caravan also has the optional fabric, but on screen is the standard Cheswick fabric that the caravan comes with. The twin axle caravans also come with an onboard freshwater tank to give you more available fresh water. Now this sits neatly underneath the front seat next to the outer heating furnace. Again, the kitchen is the same as the Cabrera, but opposite is the fridge, which is taller and has a separate freezer. And this comes with the clever dual opening door. Discreetly hidden TV connection points above the TV mount mean there's no more cables dangling down. Now the Cartagena is a full berth end washroom transverse bed layout and you'll notice that the large wardrobes again are shaped to accommodate the larger bed. The bed is in its daytime configuration at the moment but simply pull it out to maximise the sleeping space. But perhaps the nicest space in this caravan is the end washroom. Next to the Thetford toilet is the Belfast sink and light wood furniture makes this a really nice space with plenty of cubby holes for storage. The shower cubicle is tucked up into the corner and the light is supplied with a single window backlit mirrors and downlighters. Again, the window could easily be fogged for extra privacy. So a final look down the caravan shows how spacious the Cartagena really is. And just like that, the heavens are just starting to open. So I think that's it, we'll call it a day. So what do you think to the new unicorn? I particularly like the fact that this caravan has the new bigger front window. It has the pre-wired for Wi-Fi capability. There's some great additions to the bedroom. Of course, the bigger mattress is a plus, but also how comfy the front seating is as well. Being fully sprung, it's really quite a nice place to sit. Now these caravans are gonna be on the dealer forecourts from September onwards, but there we go. That's it from me today. Please do hit the subscribe button, hit the notification icon as well. And if you can do all of that, then I'll see you next time. Many thanks for watching guys. Take care, bye-bye.